what happens next in this in this saga as Spain urgently tries to get him to come home? Hi, well, there's three different things, I think, three different events we're waiting for. The first one is uh, next week on the 17th, the following week, when Puigdemont and the four uh, government councillors who are with him in Brussels have to go uh, to testify with the, with the judge in, in Brussels who, who's taking the case, you know, the extradition case. The other event we're waiting for is uh, for the former Speaker of the Catalan Parliament uh, to go back to court to the Supreme Court in Spain, Spain and see whether she goes to prison like the rest of the former government officials here or not. And the final event is obviously how the coalition parties or, the, or which candidates we see running for the elections. What's the secessionist movement's morale like? I know initially activists were left rudderless, they were divided when he fled to Belgium, but you know, I gather the spectacle has reinvigorated the movement. Yes, I think right now the mood is driven a bit more by what's happening here than what Puigdemont is doing there. I think the, the, the pictures and the image and the idea of so many of these Catalan leaders in prison has, uh, as you say, reinvigorated some of the, of the supporters and there is, uh, there is quite a bit of anger from that side of the, of the, of the political spectrum and, and you know, they, they, want to, they want to support their, their leaders. It was seen yesterday in the Barcelona soccer game when there was a huge banner um, brought out in support of the prisoners and people were chanting justice and, liberty and freedom.